How to pick a good watermelon, a comprehensive guide. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the juicy topic of how to pick a good watermelon. Whether you're preparing for a summer picnic, a backyard barbecue, or just craving a refreshing snack, knowing how to select the perfect watermelon is key to enjoying its sweet, juicy flavor. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps to choose a watermelon that is ripe, delicious, and ready to eat. Let's get started. 1. Look for a uniform shape. One of the first things to check when selecting a watermelon is its shape. A good watermelon should have a uniform shape, whether it's round or oval. Irregular bumps and lumps can indicate inconsistent growth, which might affect the texture and taste of the fruit. Symmetrical watermelons are usually more evenly ripened and provide a better eating experience. 2. Examine the color. The color of the watermelon is another important factor to consider. A ripe watermelon typically has a deep, consistent green color. The rind should have a dull appearance rather than a shiny one, as a shiny rind often indicates that the watermelon is underripe. Avoid watermelons with white streaks or patches, as these can be signs of uneven ripening. 3. Check the field spot. The field spot is a creamy, yellowish area on the rind where the watermelon sat on the ground and ripened in the sun. A good watermelon will have a prominent, yellow field spot. The darker and more pronounced the spot, the longer the watermelon was allowed to ripen on the vine. If the field spot is white or non-existent, the watermelon was likely picked too early and may not be as sweet or flavorful. 4. Tap the watermelon. Tapping the watermelon is a classic technique to check for ripeness. Give the watermelon a firm tap or slap and listen to the sound it makes. A ripe watermelon will produce a deep, hollow sound, indicating that it is full of water and ready to eat. If the sound is dull or flat, the watermelon may be overripe or underripe. 5. Feel the weight. A good watermelon should feel heavy for its size. Watermelons are composed mostly of water, so a heavier melon usually means it is juicy and ripe. Compare the weight of several watermelons of similar size and choose the one that feels the heaviest. 6. Inspect the skin. Look closely at the skin of the watermelon for any signs of damage, such as cuts, bruises, or soft spots. These imperfections can indicate that the fruit is past its prime or has been handled poorly. A healthy watermelon will have a firm, unblemished rind. 7. Look for the sugar spots. Sugar spots are small, dark spots on the rind that indicate where sugar is seeping out of the fruit. These spots are a good sign that the watermelon is sweet and ripe. However, too many sugar spots can indicate overripeness, so look for a balanced amount. 8. Check the tendril. If you're picking a watermelon directly from the vine, you can check the tendril nearest to the fruit. When the tendril is brown and dried up, it's a good indication that the watermelon is ripe. If the tendril is still green, the fruit needs more time to ripen. 9. Consider the variety. Different varieties of watermelons have slightly different characteristics when it comes to ripeness. For example, seedless watermelons often have a smoother rind and a more consistent shape compared to seeded varieties. Familiarize yourself with the specific traits of the watermelon variety you prefer to make a better selection. Tips for storing watermelon. Once you've picked the perfect watermelon, proper storage is essential to maintain its quality. Here are some tips. Whole watermelon. Store at room temperature if you plan to eat it within a few days. If not, keep it in a cool, dark place or in the refrigerator. Cut watermelon. Once cut, wrap the pieces tightly in plastic wrap or place them in an airtight container. Refrigerate and consume within 3 to 5 days for the best flavor and texture. Conclusion, and there you have it. By following these tips, you'll be able to select a watermelon that is ripe, sweet, and perfect for any occasion. Remember, the key factors are a uniform shape, deep green color, prominent field spot, a hollow sound when tapped, and a heavy feel. Don't forget to inspect the skin for any damage and look for those sugar spots as an extra sweet bonus. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, 
share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on selecting the best produce. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and happy watermelon picking!